It's the day, ladies and gentlemen. We're here in Texas, drove 20 hours last night to the Guggen Squad headquarters. This is my first time ever being here, but guys, you've seen the title and the thumbnail for today's video. This is the world's biggest fishing unboxing on YouTube yet by far. I've done like a $10,000 or $15,000 fishing unboxing before, and this beats it like, I don't even know how much. I don't know what the title and thumbnail is gonna be yet. There's a lot of stuff in there, and one of which being a bass boat. You guys know in February, I was trying to hit 250,000 subscribers by the end of the month. You guys almost got me there, and the Guggen Squad realized that you guys were subscribing, wanted to see me in a bass boat, so they actually got your boy Norm a boat inside, which I'm super pumped to show you guys. I really know nothing about it, and I guess it's full to the brim of just lures, rods everything i need to catch fish so i'm super pumped for that and guys a boat means one series i've been wanting to film series traveling around the united states going fishing put, dipping the boat in the water and trying to figure it out so that just means more epic content for you guys second thing about the boat is i can fish a ton of water in my area that i've never fished before so guys don't worry the boat does not mean bank fishing videos are coming to an end bank fishing overall fishing is my favorite type of fishing and trust me we're going to keep on bringing the bank fishing content to you but the boat is just like an added benefit oh number three tournaments I want to enter tournaments. I did tournaments in high school, and I really want to enter tournaments again, which we have a bass boat, we have a live well. Might as well make that happen. But guys, I really wanted to say thank you to you guys for supporting me. Without, like, you, like, none of this would be possible. Like, for real. It's crazy that I can just drive to Texas and pick up a free boat full to the brim of lures, rods, like, literally everything you would ever need for fishing, and it's only because of you guys being here for the years that you've supported me and uh, commenting, liking, subscribing. Really, uh, dang. It's really crazy, man. <laughs> I was just a kid in high school fishing like high school tournaments and now and now we're here and I, I just got stuff to show you guys inside. I'm super pumped. So thank you to you guys and also thank you to the Guggen squad. Dude, I'm getting like emotional. This is bro. It's, it, it still hasn't hit me yet that I got like a free boat inside. I've always wanted a boat, but I've never been the person to like financially say, yeah, a boat's like a good investment, even though it's like my job to go fishing. Do I need to say anything else or do we just need to go look at the boat? Is that all good? That's all good. Hey, subscribe if you guys haven't already. This is supposed to be a happy video. We're gonna go inside and have a good time. We're gonna have fun. And I'm gonna, show you, I'm gonna talk to you guys about a boat. I don't even know the name of the boat to be completely honest, but we're gonna talk about it once we get inside. And uh, Yak Pack, your cue is now. So. So guys, we plan out like this super cool thing. We're gonna be like, yeah, Yakima's gonna whip by on the dirt bike, like right when I'm done with the intro, and we're gonna go right into the thing. And um, it didn't work as planned. Yakima just ended up driving all the way down the road for some reason. Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Norm. No, I don't have no blast. Guys, the boat is right here behind me. Comment down below before we even look at it. Where do we have to take this boat? Let me know, guys. Also, I don't even know what to say. It's overwhelming. My first time here, we drove 20 hours, and I have a boat fully loaded to tackle. Like, all my fishing dreams are coming true. So thank you guys very much. And this is by far, like, the most expensive and biggest fishing unboxing ever. And I have you guys to thank for that. So thank you very much. Here, here she is. Shoo! God dang, your boy Norm's got a new whip. That is gonna be epic, dude. All right, guys, so this is a 17, let me make sure I get this right, actually. This is a Crestliner 1700 Storm. We have uh, a trailer, obviously, to tow the boat. We got a uh, 60 mark on the back, which is perfect for uh, the lakes around me aren't like crazy big, but even if I was to go fish like Okeechobee or something like that, I could dip this boat in there and I could also dip this boat like just in like the local ponds and lakes around me, even with like a muddy boat ramp. That's why I like the 17 foot and I don't have like a 21 foot boat. And the smaller the boat, the more we can get back into like the backwaters and stuff and explore. But yeah, that's about all I know about this boat. John is gonna help me kind of like figure out what's going on, the technical stuff. So we're about to talk to him and he's gonna run me through my boat here. But guys, this is epic. I don't even know how much this boat costs, but yeah, the big part is the boat, but there's a ton of stuff inside too that we're about to get started with. First time hopping in the new boat. I saw it yesterday when we came and we had just got done with like a 20 hour drive and your boy Norm was like falling asleep. But now I'm like actually getting to experience it with full awake norm here. So guys, compartment number one right here. We got a live well. This is where all of our fish are gonna be hanging out. 
when we catch all of the biggins. I actually want to enter tournaments, and this is perfect. You need a live wall in a tournament. Yakpack, you want to do some tournaments? 10 likes on this video, and we'll go do a tournament on Lake Okeechobee. How about that? That. <laughs> I'm down with that. So guys, this is the tackle compartment right here. I took a sneak peek yesterday, but I don't know all of what's inside of here, but I'm pretty sure we got just about everything. Let's go ahead and take a look together. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh you, you man. You really have a bass pro shop in your boat. <laughs> Guys, this is a lot of tackle, and that's saying that's coming from Fishing with Norm, where my whole entire editing room is covered. And we got to do an editing room like tour. If you guys oh want to see that, let me know. <laughs> this is a ton of tackle. We're just going to go through it real quick. We got basically everything. So you guys know the lipless crankbait is my absolute favorite lure of all time. That and obviously like worms and stuff too. But, guys. Check that out. We got one of every single color, at least one of every single color. I don't think I've ever seen another... What, what would you even like, un, like classify this as? An unboxing, right? Basically, an unboating, <laughs> an unboating. Yeah, this, there's never on, so. never on YouTube been something as big as this, literally ever. This is an entire brand new boat. This is nuts. Actually, you know what's kind of funny about this? Lil Joe's probably gonna be like, damn. I wanted the carpet. Because <laughs> yes. I don't have carpet on this Lojo boat. wants a boat with carpet so, so bad. bad. Yeah. And he saw the picture of my boat and was like, big mad. So it's, it's going to be funny. Actually, if you guys want to see me and Yakpack roll up to Lojo's house, do a little 2v2 tournament Ooh, me, against me, him and AO. Yeah, that'd be dope. But uh, I guess we'll just start going through this, guys. Look at how many bags we got in here. Just go ahead and start unloading. You want to just pull them all out, dude? Oh, yeah. Gosh. Oh, it goes deep. <laughs> Oh, this is a bag of all bags right here. What is that, the Mondo Worm bag? Mondo Worm in every color. So, inside of the boat, we got, as you can see, pretty much everything you would ever need to go fishing. We got swim baits in every color. We wouldn't open it for you guys. Especially coming up here in the summer and fall time too, I like using those bigger swim baits. Because as you guys know, those shad, they spawn in the spring and get bigger all the way up to the fall. So, if you're fishing with swim baits, go small early in the year and bigger later in the year. So, that'll be a lot of fun. Can never have too many swim baits. You guys, right here, we got a box full of hummers and also the zingers. So, top water fishing in my area should start hitting next two weeks probably. We'll have a ton of luck on these. I'm pumped for that. And obviously, spinner bait's been a staple for the longest time. Love throwing a spinner bait. Every single trench hollow ever. <laughs> Everyone. This is a 10 pound <laughs> bag of trench hollows. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, guys. So basically, in all these bags, like this is just a bandito bug bag in every color and every size. This is just a Mondo worm bag with every color, every size. This, the dragon drops, every color, every size. Everything with that. Ned rigs, every color, every size. Crack and cross, you guys have seen, the, actually this is what the six pounder came on. If you guys haven't seen the ice fishing video, go check that out. I caught a six pounder on the crack and craw just like two days ago. But these have been my new favorites. Hey guys, this is super sweet too, because these bags right here are waterproof. And one of my big problems is I'm really good at letting water get in my stuff and rusting and ruining all my lures. And now we have these money bags here so I can keep everything nice and compact. And we're gonna try to keep this boat organized. If it looks anything like my truck, we're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> I feel like if we use this one time, it's gonna be a mess, but I'm gonna do my best job at taking a lure out, putting it back in and putting it back where it goes. So uh, it's a new thing about being a new boat owner is I have a lot to learn. I've never even drove a boat before. I don't even have my boater's license as well. So that's, a, that's another thing to add. But right here, we have the rod compartment, which I'm pretty sure is also full of brand new rods. Ridiculous, bro. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so oh. we have a ton of the gold series rods and a ton of the green ones as well. I think we're good. Do we just have to take them all out? I think so. To, to, to give this justice, yeah, I think so. So what's really cool, guys, about this boat is that you have a side locker here, so I can keep all my rod. I'm probably gonna keep a ton of them like up on the deck, but also, you do? yeah, you got the straps right there, right? For the do I? I think so. Oh yeah, right here, right here, right. That's what oh, that's yeah, for, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm the last person you should give a boat, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so not only do we have the boat, but we have all the rods laid out right here. So we got the gold series for starts. And what I really like about these is it really makes fishing easy with all of this right here. It's, it's always been hard. People have always asked me like, what type of fishing rod should I get? And if I say 7.2 medium heavy for like the beginning angler, they don't, that means absolutely nothing to you guys. So yeah. what really makes it cool right here is that you have a little ranking system on the side. So reaction three, twitch four, and every rod is gonna be different. So it makes it way easier when you're selecting a rod instead of having to worry about picking the wrong one. 
they really made it easy with these rods and it'll actually tell you right here that this is a twitch rod so we got a twitch we have a reaction so that would be perfect for those lipless crankbaits i showed you guys chatter baits everything like that this is probably one of the ones i'm gonna be using the most as a go-to so literally absolutely anything that's why it's called the go-to throw texas rigs what do you throw on the go-to yak pack uh the trench hog has been killing it for me so yeah. that's actually what i have rigged up in my truck right now i've got the the gold go-to and it just dude sweet yeah we got all the gold series we got the green series too what's really cool about this i've never seen this on a fishing rod before you actually have a ruler on the side so you can measure the length of your fish so no more me telling you guys the fish is five pounds when it's only two pounds because i will always have a ruler on me so you at least know the length of the fish but that's a really cool addition and we got some of these in the spinning and also some in the casting another thing that i thought was crazy is you see right here where this rod it goes from green to black it's exactly how you know where the action is going to be at watch this new rig yeah what do you think it's epic dude first ever boat first ever boat in my whole life so, or how long has this been here and like is there any cool features about it that i would have no clue like i think like this has not been here that long so this is a crest liner right yeah so i had my first boat was a low which is like basically the same company as Crestliner. Okay. And I would say you're gonna love this boat because the first boat that I had was a tin rig, and the yeah. last boat I had was a tin rig, and the last boat I had was a tin rig. I love these because you can just beat them up, you can get them shallow, yep. go to places where no one else wants to. This is sick though. This is really nice. Yeah, dude, that's what I was thinking too. Is there's uh, there's so many like little small like residential lakes that aren't like public, and they have like just mud boat ramps. Yeah, that's what really and this to play. Yeah, this is like the perfect length for I feel like you could like conquer a huge lake, but you, you could, could also like go dip it in a pond or something oh, like that too. heck yeah, dude, you could pull this with a camera. It's so light as well. <laughs> like dude, we pulled it out here with our hands yeah, too. Really. So. That's what's so unreal about this boat. Like if you're in a parking lot, if you're like in a hotel parking lot and you just yeah. squeeze it into a spot, perfect easy yeah my first boat was a 16.5 and this is like so so similar yeah you'll love this one this is sweet i'm a first time boat user when yeah. i take this out for the first time i don't full throttle it right you have to like um, warm it up or something yeah you've got to break in your motor so what you do is just vary your rpm so like okay. do a little bit of idling go like up to like 2000 for like 10 minutes then go up to 4000 for like 10 minutes and then back down to a thousand then to the whole point is like you can throttle out a little bit yeah but what you want to do is not do it for long periods of time so you want to like vary your rpms until basically after your seventh fishing trip yeah, this is super super straightforward like this is a great first boat to get because i mean I, if i if my first boat was like a ranger 21 you know, foot I, boat dude, i'd I be like i would not want that as my yeah, first boat at I all couldn't imagine. It was i would ruin it in a second super easy to learn um with a rig like this because everything is bare bones bilge aerator horn <laughs> weirdest horn i've ever heard <laughs> Uh, these are your nav lights. If you're running at low light or dark, you just turn these on and plug one in the back and then one in the front. Sweet. It's cool though, dude. I really like this rig. These seats are comfy too. Like, <laughs> wow. This is my favorite part of the boat right here. Yeah. This thing's gonna hoot too. <laughs> Alright, let's test it out, guys. Yeah, I, I, get, I get used to this. Uh, no, this one's just throttle, but you can get a hot foot installed. No problem. They have electronic ones now. And where would that go? Just like right down here yeah, or something? Yeah, like right there. So just like a car. I would suggest yeah. it because... Is this annoying or something? Well, it's not annoying, but like if you ever fall out of your boat, you always want to wear your kill switch because if you yeah. fall out of your boat, then this is just going to keep going. Whereas a hot foot, if you fall out, you let go on the gas and you're just idling. Gotcha. So it's like it's more like a car. Bro, we're going to we're gonna mess something up. I I'll really, I hope not. I'm going to try yeah. my hardest, but... Oh, you will. 100%. Yeah, yeah, it's just... Dude, yeah. I, I put two holes in my boat, uh, I mean, that's also just me. <laughs> but, but two holes in my boat, um, I've forgotten to put the plug in countless times. But this is this is what you do, you, you get a boat like this and you use it to learn. You don't want to learn on a $80,000 Yeah, yeah that like, makes you know, sense, that makes perfect sense. I mean, that's the way I see it. So if you're gonna learn, you might as well learn on something that is fun, that you're gonna catch fish out of, but that also, it's not a Lamborghini. It can take some yeah. wear and tear, yeah. yeah. Put a bunch of, oh wow. Yeah, yeah I mean, one of literally everything, every size, this every thing color. This push to start, that's unreal. <laughs> I know, dude. And there's more, too. Like, I don't know if you knew this. I learned this part. There's, like, secret compartments oh, under that's here. Cool. Yeah. So it, like, lifts up, that. and it goes, like, it's, like, hollow underneath. So, so you can fit even more stuff in Yeah, there. there's, like, dude, everything. Oh, you're dialed. Damn. You get more gear than me, dude. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Thanks, man. So, guys, John gave us, like, the kind of the technical run through everything. As you guys know, I'm a first-time boat owner. So when I explain things, it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense, but we're gonna give like my run through of the boat real quick. So right here, this is what you use to tie on the dock so your boat doesn't float away. Do you know that? You can or, or when you put this bad boy in turbo mode and I'm up front, that's what I hang on to. 
Heck yeah. Two for one. And moving along the boat, we're just gonna go, oh, hold up, hold up. Cup holder on the front deck. That's probably my favorite. For those of you guys who've never had a boat before, you on strap this right here and this holds your rods down. So we got a full deck full of fishing rods and reels. You put them like this, and when you're running, you go over some waves, you strap them down. Yeah. Well, there's probably too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too many rods here. For like three or four rods. Yeah, technically you would strap those down, that way they wouldn't fly out Instead or anything. But for this being a 17-foot boat too, there's a ton of storage on this thing, which we're gonna need for fishing gear and also like camera gear, rain gear, all that type of stuff. You never know what you're gonna run into out on the water. Oh, dang man, let me just see, let me see something real quick. Let me just go ahead and get some. Oh yeah. That feels good. A lot of big fish are going to be caught out of this boat. So right here, this front compartment, if we're like fishing a tournament or something like that, which I really want to do in this boat, uh, we have a live well, but we could also use that as just like dry storage as well, I guess maybe. We have a trolling motor on the front too, which is obviously needed. Things about this trolling motor. It's a trolling motor. It's it'll a trolling troll. motor. It'll it trolls. trolls. It goes around, you know, if you want to go from one spot on a lake to another spot, that's what it would be used for. Hey guys, I've used a foot pedal like a fair amount of times. It's really cool because you can steer the whole boat with your foot so you don't have to use your hand to control where you're going, which is my problem with John boat fishing is I'm trying to like get in the positions and I can't be fishing while I'm doing that. But with a trolling motor with a foot pedal, this little button right here, that's all that makes it go. If there's any cool boat mods you guys want to see, I think we're going to throw a graph or two on the front, maybe one on the dash as well. You know what the coolest, I really, mod, is? Huh? You know what the coolest mod is on this boat? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Where does that go? Left or right corner, Yak Pack? Which one are you thinking? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say left. Left corner? say left, yep. All right. About right there, yeah. And just mush it. Yeah. First boat mod. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have the trolling motor. So guys, we also have like a ton of line. There's actually more, oh, there's not, here, I gotta show you guys this. These seats lift off. I don't know how much sitting we're gonna do. I'm kind of like a standing fisherman. We might just leave these at the house. Right here, there's a whole nother compartment that we can store food, camera gear, whatever we want, but there wasn't enough room in the front, so we had to throw the bag full of lunker logs in the back as well. So under the seats, there's more storage for tackle, like if we didn't already have enough. Anyways, if you lift these up, watch this, guys. I haven't even seen what's under here yet, guys. We have like a whole jig box, a box full of revolvers, which is gonna be absolutely epic for this uh, month coming up. This is our square bill box. And what's really cool too is it's hollow under here. So there's even more, more jigs. Is that the second jig? That is the second jig box. Frame bait box. This is the box right here, yeah. That's the box. Yeah, I knew it was. Yep. I, I, I can just tell you right now, the secret spot that we got, the yeah. Tallahassee, that that's going to... It's weird because everybody's favorite topwater lure is a frog. I like poppers and walking baits, like, significantly more than frog fishing. So this box is probably going to get some of the most use on the whole entire boat. And we have the frog box with every single color frog you could ever want in your whole life. Popping, walking, all that stuff. I think there's more under here. It's the box of, oh my gosh. <gasps> The swim bait box. Bro, the contenders and contenders juniors, every color, dude, that's nuts. What's really cool about this boat, it's gonna help me get like back to the roots of when I very first started fishing, even before YouTube. I would only throw big swim baits and fish for like a week to catch like one eight pounder. And I'm super pumped to have these uh, swim baits right here. And with the boat, which I never had a boat before, I can never fish a ton of spots that I wanted to fish. So we might even spend like days chasing one fish with all the swim baits right here. Like this is probably the box I'm most pumped for. You might have to take a little bit of time. You know, your boy Norm might not upload for a few days, but when that upload comes, that's just, just too much fun, dude. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we uh, we need to go over, guys. There's a, there's a little humbird unit on here. I could tell you absolutely nothing about it, but it should help me find fish. So guys, on the back, we got a Mercury with a 60, which is perfect for me, because that's gonna get you across those big lakes, as well as being able to put it in like smaller ponds and stuff like that. This is like the perfect dream rig for everything that I do. And as John was saying too, I can tow this thing like a feather. It's not gonna be yeah. weighing a ton behind the boat. I'm no, not gonna be worried about driving my $90,000 bass boat Bro, somewhere. I bet you this boat probably doesn't even weigh. Maybe in, in total, maybe what, 600 pounds maybe? Yeah, you probably pick it up. Yeah, I mean, I've, yeah, <laughs> probably good. Yeah, <laughs> don't make me so, blush. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Comment down below. Where you want me to take this new boat right here? Like, I'm still mind blown. I'm now a proud boat owner. And guys, fishing this year, we're gonna go fishing every day, whether it be on the bank, ponds, or in the boat. I cannot wait for you guys to see the content we're gonna bring you, the epic trips we're gonna go on, the crazy challenges, all that stuff. So guys, thank you so much for being here, like, along the journey. 
and uh, it feels awesome to finally have a boat. I'm pumped. If you're not subscribed already, you're not going to want to miss everything that we film on this boat. So guys, go ahead and make that subscribe button great. Hit the notification bell, and there's even like a little tab off the notification bell. It's really interesting. You guys should try it. You click all, you're notified every time I upload. Shoot, leave a like. You guys made it to the end of the video. Obviously, you liked. And we're, we, we're gonna go fishing on this later today. And that's gonna be another video. Jackpack and I breaking in the boat. So guys, have you seen this boat? <laughs> Norm has a brand new boat. Bro, I don't, it doesn't, I still, until I fish on it, it doesn't even feel like it's mine. So that's why like I-, I Our like, first trip together. Our first trip together, who catches the biggest fish? Our first trip, whether I've, that's I've, today or two weeks from now. I think what's gonna have to happen is you're gonna have to let me catch the first fish and just sit in the boat until it happens. I don't think you can let somebody else catch Ooh, a fish. Oh, that's, you're right. It's you're right. bad, you're it's, right. you can't break in a boat. You have to catch the first fish on your and boat. In your boat, yeah. You're yeah, right, so you're right, you'll sit down and- I don't wanna get in the water. Like I don't wanna yeah. cast in the water until it happens. Cause yeah. if I do, that's that's eight guaranteed. So Basically. I'm not gonna do that to Norm, I won't do that to him. I can't, I can't wait for this journey with the boat, guys. There's so much to learn about boats. I, I don't even know what type of gas to put in this thing. When it comes to boats, I have no idea, so we're gonna learn together. Norm and his boat journey. Uh, I hope nothing breaks, but it is a boat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, until the next fishing adventure, fish bump, I'm out of here.